Sup guys, it's Alex here, and welcome to the next game in the 2020 NCAA Tournament Simulation played on NCAA Basketball 10. We will have 5 seed Ohio State taking on 12 seed Stephen F. Austin. If this game was taking place in real life, I think I would be 100% split on this one. Ohio State is a really good team out of the Big Ten, but Stephen F. Austin went 28-3 during the course of the regular season and went on the road and beat Duke. But here on NCAA Basketball 10, Ohio State is just a little pretty good here. <laughs> I mean, they are number 16 in like 2009, 2010, and you can just see the difference here. I think Ohio State's going to easily take this one, but you never know. There's always a chance for an upset. The winner will play Louisville in the round of 32. Let's get into it. And there is Evan Turner right there, number 21 for Ohio State. Both teams are looking to box out in this game. Number 5 Ohio State, number 12 CNF Austin. Let's tip off and see who will face Louisville in the round of 32. And a foul to start off the game. Stephen F. Austin already hacking away against Ohio State. Actually, no, the other way around. It was Ohio State on Stephen F. Austin. <laughs> We want to see Stephen F. Austin take this lead against Ohio State. It may be their only one of the game. I have no expectation that they'd actually upset Ohio State in this game. But they missed both of them, of course. This one, I feel like, is going to be a murder. Yep. A fader? Of course it does not go in. Let's see, Evan Turner setting the screen over there. 44 is driving, but not profiling. Oh, okay, good pass. And they airball it. Stephen F. Austin's coach is unhappy over there. Look at him. I don't blame him with the way they're they're starting out this game. Now they work it around the perimeter. He can't get it to go. Give me that. Out on the left wing. Let's see what Stephen F. Austin can do here on offense. Passing the ball around on the perimeter. Can they tie it up? It's been a low-scoring game to start off. The fadeaway gets blocked. And <laughs> Stephen F. Austin is still upset. Looking down low, and Stephen F. Austin fouls Ohio State. Leon Terrell, more like Leon Ter Terrible. I know that was a horrible pun, but we'll rock with it. And he misses. Also, shout out to JRIV52 since this guy's wearing number 52. He was also doing an NCAA Basketball 10 tournament simulation on his channel. I recommend going and watching that one. And he gets the bounce to go. And now Ohio State's bringing that full court pressure. And Stephen F. Austin's breaking it. Look at number 34. He's wide open over there. And see if Austin gets a basket. We'll take it. I know I have Ohio State moving pretty far in my bracket. Let me take a look at it real quick. If I have Ohio State in the Elite Eight, I need them to win here. 
But I really want to see the upset with Stephen F. Austin. And of course, Ohio State makes that as soon as I say that. And if you are still watching at this point, I know a lot of people will go ahead and skip ahead to the end of the video. I will be doing updated rosters for the Elite Eight. Because right now it takes for, it would take forever to do them with the 64 teams. So I'm just going to do it with the eight final ones with real rosters from 2009, 2010. I think that would be a lot of fun. Oh, that was a good drive by number 52. I will give him credit for that one. Swanson has all seven of Ohio State's points. He is looking like a star right now. Stephen F. Austin responds, though. They're still within a one-possession game. Let's see what Ohio State can do here on offense. Can't remember what number 10, I think is that it's like numbers. No, it's 33 who is handling the ball. Ohio State has some weird jersey numbers. And Ohio State, of course, gets the rebound. But it gets blocked and they get their own rebound. And they miss it again, but they get their own rebound. Oh my gosh, there was like three or four offensive rebounds on that possession. That was horrible defensive rebounding by Stephen at Boston. Both teams have missed four field goals so far. Stephen F. Austin pulling and making it. Okay. Stephen F. Austin making that three-pointer. I see. Don't know why Evan Turner decided to kick it out there. Now he's driving. Now he's profiling, but he misses the shot. Stephen F. Austin could tie it up here. Let's see what happens. There's about a four-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Looking down low to 34, who lays it in? Stephen F. Austin has tied it up with 17 seconds to go in the first half. Will we see an upset bid by Stephen F. Austin? A weird fadeaway by Ohio State, but 52 gets the rebound. That Swanson guy is just a bully down low. Look at that, 9 points, 4 of 4 shooting. Half-court buzzer beater, first time in the tournament, does not go in. We got to see one of those at some point this tournament. I really hope so. We're playing 63 games. There's got to be at least one that happens. Shooting's pretty even between the two, 44% and 42%. And there's Brutus. Here we go, kicking off the second half. Will we see an upset? Stephen F. Austin is hanging with Ohio State. Swanson again gets blocked by Stephen F. Austin. He will not be shooting 100%. Let's go. I'm rooting for Stephen F. Austin to pull off the upset here. I know I will lose in Elite 18, but I've already lost two already. Let's go, Stephen F. Austin, tying it up at 11. I've lost a Final Four team in West Virginia and an Elite Eight team in Indiana already. My bracket's already busted. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Stephen F. Austin having a chance. Thad Mata, or Thad Mata, however you pronounce his name with Ohio State, is getting upset over there. Stephen F. Austin. Oh, I was really hoping they were going to take the lead there, but they don't. Ohio State gets the defensive rebound here. Four minutes to go. It is getting intense. And, of course, number 23 gets it. Let's see if Stephen F. Austin can... Oh, 34 should have just kept driving there. He had a layup. A 33, or a number three just draws the foul there against... Was that Evan Turner? Yep, Evan Turner fouls him right here. Let's see if he can make the free throws. Makes the first one. Come on, Stephen F. Austin. 
tie it up here. Come on, Grant Cotton. He's doing pretty good at six points already. And Stephen F. Austin ties it up three and a half minutes to go. And they're bringing the full court pressure. They are ready to get a stop here on defense. They may have him in some trouble here. What a great trap, Gus. The defense is getting after it. Oh, that's a push off on 52. Thank you. Offensive foul on LeVar Swanson. He may have been like a really good player back in 2009, 2010, but I can't remember what his name is. Stephen F. Austin now has a chance to take the lead. And of course, they turn it over. Let's see what Ohio State can do here. I think Evan Turner either has zero or two points, but they look for him here. Fade away. Misses. Evan Turner is not making his presence known here. I think he was the number two overall pick in the draft behind John Wall. John Wall. Shoot it, number four. Oh, no. Looking down low. Stephen F. Austin takes the lead. Stephen F. Austin is beating Ohio State. You guys saw at the beginning of the video the discrepancy between the two teams in skill level. Stephen F. Austin was like a C-. minus. Oh, and they turn it. They get the turnover here. Pushing the ball up the floor in transition. And, of course, the animation cheese gets them there. But, man, Ohio State was like an A-. minus. Will we see a humongous upset here? Oh, they're going to force a turnover if they can get it. That's a travel. Oh. It doesn't matter. Stephen F. Austin gets the ball. I am loving this right now. Two minutes to go. Will we see Stephen F. Austin pull off the upset here? Looking down low, fade away. Does not go. Ohio State hasn't scored in two minutes, as you see there. And they aren't going to score on this possession either. Stephen F. Austin has the chance to take a two-possession lead. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Ohio State gets a good trap. Ooh, going behind the back, number four. I see you. He's taking it back out wants to reset the offense here. Looking at number 21, looking at number three. Looking at 34. Oh, almost a turnover. Oh, but they hit the shot. They used almost the entire shot clock. Stephen F. Austin. They could do this. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting really excited. I have Ohio State making the Elite Eight, but I want to see the upset here. This would be an upset of mon monstrous whatever the proportion thing is. Come on, 52. Stephen F. Austin gets the block. LeVar Swanson gets blocked. They are pushing the ball up the floor in transition. And they score. <laughs> Ohio State needs a timeout. Stephen F. Austin is up by six. Here we go. Coming out of the timeout. Ohio State needs a basket here. Stephen F. Austin, as you see, is on an AO run. They're out scoring Ohio State 10 to 2 in the second half. Will they be able to pull off the upset? Looking down low at LeVar Stevenson, or Swanson. He misses! And now Ohio State is playing the foul game. I will pick it up when we get to the one and one. Here we go. Stephen F. Austin is now at the line for a one and one. Let's see what they can do here. Will they make it a three possession game? They will not. Ohio State still has a chance. Evan Turner gets the rebound. They call a timeout. Here we go. Coming out of the timeout, Ohio State has to get a three here. They have to get a three. They're going pulling up for mid. Uh, Evan Turner gets the rebound and puts it up 19 to 15. It's a little bit too little, too late, but you never know. Crazy things have happened. Rutgers was almost able to force overtime against St. Mary's, but they made a horrible late decision. Grant Cotton's only two for five from the free throw line, as you can see. Will he go two for six here? He makes it. 20 to 15 in favor of Stephen F. Austin with 15 seconds to go. And he makes the second one. 
No ifs, ands, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Ohio State takes a timeout. All right, we are coming out of here, out of the timeout here. Ohio State, this is a last gas effort right here. This is literally the only chance they have. They have to get a three here. But they're driving for a two. That's a horrible. They're taking forever to shoot. And they turn the ball over, and now they're intentionally fouling. This one is over. Monumental, I think that was the word I've been looking for this entire like game. Monumental up upset here. Stephen F. Austin. Gets the lucky bounce. And they knit it again. They are subbing everybody out. This one is over. Bracket busted if it wasn't already with Eastern Washington and Seton Hall. Stephen F. Austin defeats Ohio State and Evan Turner 23 to 15. Tim Coleman, player of the game for Stephen F. Austin. That concludes our presentation on CBS Sports. For Coach Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson, saying so long. This is absolutely insane. Stephen F. Austin will face Louisville for the right to the Sweet 16. This is absolute insanity. I'm loving the simulation. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next game.